Are you the kind of player that just can't figure out when to walk or run in Valorant? We've all been there when we're first starting out our tactical FPS journey, whether it's CS, Valorant, or Rainbow Six. The idea is simple. Walking makes less noise, conceals your location from the enemy, but makes you slower. When running, you make footstep sounds, you give your enemy info on where you are, but it makes you faster. So when should you run? When should you walk? How do you know if you should like this video? I'm a little bit biased on that one, but if you learn something new, liking the video is a great way to tell me that I don't suck. All right, enough of that, let's jump into it. So like I said in the intro, the main differences here are sound versus no sound. There are a lot of things that produce sound that can give your enemy information, like using an ability or picking up a gun. When you run, you will notice on your minimap that a big circle will appear around your player icon that moves with you. Anyone in that circle can hear your audio. The closer to the center, you, the louder the sound gets. For example, let's say I'm running down B long on bind. Use this circle on attack to know when to walk and run when approaching a site based on where you think an enemy may be playing. A good rule of thumb to keep in mind, if your teammate is making noise near you, it is probably safe to make noise as well. There are exceptions to this rule of course, but stick around and we'll go over some scenarios in a bit. Another concept is mind games. Yes, you can become a mentalist and distort your enemy's reality with the simple concept of misdirection. Allow me to explain. You can use your footsteps to throw off the enemy by making them think you are running to one direction and fake them out by walking in another direction. You can do this in a number of situations, but the two that you'll see or I guess hear more often Often is when the attacking team fakes a rotate, cuts sound, and attempts to re-hit the site, and post-plant situations. An example of this would be on bind. You planted, it's a 1v1, and you hear the enemy drop out of hookah. You make footsteps towards the right side of tube, and then walk back the other way. Boom, easy misdirection. The last concept we'll touch on is peeking. Different types of peeks are a whole other beast, but for the scope of this video, we'll stick to the making noise part. Going from standing still to running, there will be a small period during your acceleration that that you do not make any sound. This allows you to peek enemies without having to worry about revealing where you are. Just try it on your own and you'll get a feel for what I mean. If you strafe left and right, as long as the strafes aren't too far apart, you won't make any sound. You should really try to avoid walk peeking because it'll make you an easy target for enemies holding your angle. The only time this is really okay is if you're kind of lurking behind the enemy. All right, let's dive into the juicy parts. Scenarios. We'll start out with attack. Here are your options. Number one, full push a site with your team and run. This will Will typically happen first round of each half. This is fine because your goal is to overwhelm the defenders with numbers and go for a quick plan. No need for finesse. Number two, default or spread out across the map. You'll most likely be walking here and trying to get info on the defender's position and what agents are playing where. You want the attackers to make a mistake first and capitalize on it. Number three, another common attack scenario is faking a site push. When you fake a site, you want to make as much noise as possible to try and force the defenders to rotate towards your site. Meanwhile, two or three of your teammates take the bomb to the other site. You can either walk through your spawn to rotate or you can full run to the other site to try and beat the defenders there. Just make sure your team is on the same page in terms of walking and running. And for attackers on post plant, in terms of post plant situations, you generally want to hold an angle with your teammates if they're alive. The only time you should really be running is to kill the diffuser if you're a bit too far away, faking your footsteps to throw off the enemy, or chasing the last defender if they're attempting to save. Now here are some examples, but on defense. Number one, generally speaking, more so than attack, walking is favored here. If you plan on playing on site to get a pick, you're most likely holding an angle. If you do get a pick, you can safely run at this point because the enemy already knows you're there. You may want to rotate to another position or cut sound and play another angle nearby. Number two, it is acceptable to run if you are trying to fall back to a position that you were spotted in. It's higher risk to walk in this situation because you're giving the attackers more time to push you. And for defensive post plant, it's going to be pretty similar. If you're rotating from another site, you can safely run, just beware of lurkers. When retaking, you want to cut noise before your sound circle reaches where an attacker could be playing. If you have a lot of time before the bomb goes off, you should mostly walk here and get picks methodically with your teammates. If you're running pretty low on time, you'll have to sacrifice your stealth, get kills, and defuse ASAP. You also might want to consider liking this video and subscribing as soon as possible before it's too late. What's too late, you ask? Your flanks, because you can't seem to get the timing down, which smoothly brings us to our next scenario, flanking. Flanking is pretty simple, but I wanted to mention it because newer 
players may often get this wrong. Flanking is all about timing and game sense. Flanking usually happens mid-round when the attackers begin to gather near the site they want to hit. The lurker's job is to understand that timing and flank behind the attackers to catch them off guard. Learning to walk and do run peeks without making noise is pretty important. You have the option to walk peek here, but if someone is aware of your lurk, you will be an easier target. If you do happen to get a pick here, you can either stay for more if you're greedy, or you can rotate out to safety at full speed. All right, guys, let me know in the comments if there's another Valorant concept you'd like to know more about. That's going to be it for me, but it doesn't have to be it for you. If you'd like to know more about Valorant and how to do it better, I got a video for you right here. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.